Hi, I'm Anthony back with another TLA Tech Talks video. In this episode, we're going to be taking apart a VCR. I know they're old and no one really uses them anymore, but it's still really interesting. All the engineering that went into this because there's loads of rollers and there's heads that do video and sound. It's just very interesting. So let's get started. Now we're going to start taking apart our VCR here. Unfortunately, I can't really turn it on or anything because I don't have a VCR. So it uses Phillips head screws right now it does. So okay. so I have a screwdriver. So first I'm going to try by just taking off these two screws and one on the back. So there, there's one on this side. And then there's one on the back too that could be doing the, you know, holding part of the top of the case down. And hopefully this is slide off. If not, then probably some of the screws on the bottom are doing it. And then on the back, there's one Phillips head on the top here. So, and then. This one should come out. Before I lift this up, make sure that everything's unplugged and there's nothing hooked into it because there's some serious capacitors and things in here that could seriously shock you. Anyway, oh, I was right. There's some space we need on the bottom. So you can see, as I slowly open this up, you can see that this looks like a city and it's also really dusty because we haven't used it in quite a while because we've switched to DVDs and at the least now we're kind of watching movies. So you can see this thing looks a lot, a lot cooler than I thought it would because I've never opened this. But you can see we have a transformer over here. This looks like our main transformer or inverter. So power comes in here. Looks like we have a transformer here. So allergic, so sorry if I cough. But yeah, we have some transformer. These are the capacitors I was talking about. They're not actually as big as I thought, but you could electrocute yourself. So there's actually a way to ground capacitors. You never do this with batteries, but if you have two leads, take something metal like a screwdriver. Make sure you have a cover thing and you're not touching the metal. And if these are your two contacts from the capacitor, go like that and it will leave it there for a second it should d discharge and then over here we have our ground going to the cable here's our little composite plugs this looks like the main logic board here or more of an analog board power comes through here and then let's actually get to how it works so you can see this main part here is where Every, all the action pretty much happens. This is this is the action zone. So there's quite a few parts that go into this, as you can see. But when you slide in your VHS, it slides in here, of course. Then it goes down. It goes onto these two roller things here, which press down, so you can see. Latches on. There's a lot of things in here that could break, but... You can see our latch down gear that latches everything down. This is also used quite a bit if you're rewinding. You can see that this thing here will tilt back and forth. You can see here how it tilts back and forth. There and there. And you can see it has a gear here. And that connects to the gear here so that this can turn. However, this is not the main thing that drives your tape around. So... It comes back here, and then you can see this big dark track thing here, and that's where our things slide down, these rollers right here. So when you put it down, the tape, the VHS tape, goes right here. So then this part here will go back, which you can see with my finger here. So you can see all of this action happens back here, and it pulls the tape back. Then, when it gets back quite a bit, this bit right here will pop with it to secure the tape. 
you can see. See it's secured over here. So then that's pulling the tape. So it's like this. Being, being then around and then back down to some rollers. So let's start from here. So these rollers come back and the tape's on. You can see they spin here. Then we have our erase head area. So basically, if this is only used if you're recording, but this little thing right here will erase anything that is pretty much on the tape so that you can fit space. And so if you're recording, this is energized and erases things. Then after that, and here's the roller for it, it comes down and onto the actual action. This right here is the action right here. This wheel is very important. This is where the actual video heads are. So it's hard to see, but my camera I'm gonna tilt it here. You see that little notch thing right there? When it turns, see that that one there? That is a head. If we go across, you can see there's another one there, another one there. It looks like this might be a four. So one, oh, no, it looks like it's only two. But this spins here. So the way that it's able to record something going so fast or read something more like is this is spinning super ultra fast. So the heads are spinning like that. And they are going and they're reading half. So the reason there has to be two for any for two video heads is because one can only do the bottom half of the frame and the other can do the top half. Makes sense? So this is spinning around fast. And then the tape is coming in front of it since these things aren't here or pulled back again. The heads are spinning like this, but the tape's also coming, but it's not going that fast. And while that happens, it's sending data down a, onto the board, which is down there, so you can't see it. But this is spinning really fast. It's coming across here. And then this little thing over here that kind of looks like this one, but on this side, this is your audio. This is what reads the audio off it. This is video. This is audio. So another reason is you see how this wheel's tilted. It's not like this. It's like this. That's very important because... This is your, down here would be your sink. This is seeking it up. So the bottom sink, then above at the top of it, you have your audio. And in the middle would be your video, but the video is really weird. The video is slanted like this. So slant, 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 slant. And then your audio is at the top. So that's why this is tilted. And the reason for that is to fit more space in the video. So this is at an angle so that the top can get the bottom and stuff. Another thing is this motor here is what actually will tension this up here and tension everything. Then this is your audio. Again, audio. This gets the top bit. So this is your audio. So then it comes through the audio and it's going to come around this metal stick here to help it do tension. Then it's going to come around your cap stand, which is this rod right here that goes down into the metal. So that's going to hook to one of these two motors here, I believe. And this is going to turn and control the speed. Another part of it is this bit right here. This is going to come like that. And then this is also going to come like that. So this is going to create tension right here to help also control speed. So you can see down here when I do this, all this moves connected to one of the motors, and then this pulls that like that. And then along with this stuff here, you can see how that will come against. So when it, you put it in, this comes back, that's going to come back there. See how that works? And then this comes forward, and then it can adjust that against the stick here. So when this is back here, see it can go against there, making the tape move. And then it also comes around there, and then it comes back onto your tape. So that's pretty much how the actual VHS works, and this is another logic board it looks that controls the spinning of this. So inside here you have your 
two tiny video heads. Now some have three, some have four. There's all kinds of different types of VCRs. And usually they'll have a magnetic coil underneath here that does the data back and forth. And that's pretty much how it works. So now I'm going to go back and it's time to put it back together pretty much. So, so now it's time to put the casing back on so that this thing's put back together. So we've gone through most of the parts and it looks like our main processor is a chip right here. You can see all the pins from it here. So you can see on the back here that it has a pretty serious looking chip. This looks like the main processor. Can't really see it, but you can see all the pins because it's dark. And then that controls the screen on the front here with those two ribbon cables. And then cables controlled back in this little bit there, right here, this cable. And then, yeah, it's the VCR. Wrong boy. So now we pretty much put that on. It's a little tricky to get back in. This back in. Okay. So yeah, there we go. Now it's time to put our screws back in. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me on the disassembly and explanation of this VCR. So if you like this video, you know what to do. If you hated it and you wish that I was a gaming channel, then go ahead and hit that button and if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and hit the subscribe button thanks for watching